You have to understand, if you lose momentum on your exit, you don't just lose time on the exit itself, you lose gradually time till your next breaking point. If you are 2-3 seconds off pace from the fast lap times, you are already really good driver. I know it sounds very big statement, but by the end of those series, I will share with you all the different tricks I learned over my 15 years experience and you will close the gap with a huge amount. For this video, I have very crazy car and truck combination to show you how you can lose almost 2 seconds just from getting single input wrong and how you can improve that. First. Oran Park is very complex track with all kinds of corner combinations, bumps and elevations which naturally put your driving skills and car to real test. And second, I win 3 GRC titles of the first 4 iRacing championships and I'm safe to say I know this car very well. As Mikael Sirola said on my last video, this car become just an extension of my brain. <laughs> Let me give you an example how even if you master your car, you can still lose crazy amount of time. After an hour of driving this weird combo, I managed to stop the clock 1 minute 4 and a half seconds. And in that lap, I wanna show you how easy you can lose one and a half second without even realizing your mistake. Even if I used better line and had much more stable car and hit the perfect apex, I was impatient on the most critical moment. Instead of managing my throttle inputs and create the perfect exit, I smashed the pedal and ruined my momentum, which led to correction and I lost three tenths till my next breaking point. You have to understand, if you lose momentum on your exit, you don't just lose time on the exit itself, you lose gradually time till your next breaking point. Let's check this again. For example, if you want to fight for position, there is nothing more important than your perfect exit, which leads me to my next point. Let's see how it works in real time. On my braking point, we are already 6 tenths of pace, and on my accelerating point, we sacrifice already another 3 tenths, just to make sure we have the best possible car placement on the apex. And you can see, we are able to gain all the lost time back and even gain a half tenth. The perfect lap may need the perfect execution, but around the edge, driving can be very flexible. What I mean by that? If you are under pressure from the car behind, you can't afford early braking, so you have to sacrifice your exit. But if you want to get ready for attack, you can sacrifice your entry for the best possible exit and bring your car alongside your competition to fight for the next apex. I have won many races starting back off the grid, just because I was able to use that flexibility. Let's go back to that lap. On the next corner, still precise driving and another impatient throttle management, another correction and another tenth lost. In the next few corners, I just overdrive the car, trying to cover the lost time, which basically is impossible. How stupid is that? You can't possibly take back the time you already lost in the first half of the lap. You are not fucking timing machine. Your worst enemy for your consistency is your mind discipline. If you lose something, the money in your bank account, the relationship with your girlfriend or boyfriend or the time in your previous corner, that is gone and is gone forever. You really have to discipline your mind. The only control you will ever have is the present moment. And the best choice you can make is to not do the same mistake, period. And try to create better circumstances for better future outcomes. At the moment you will realize you don't have the power to bring things back, but you have the power to recreate them. You will have much better mind discipline and you will make the right choices. Try for a week on your practice sessions to sacrifice on your corner entry. 
Brake a bit earlier and look for the optimal position of your car for the exit of the corner. And if you really want to see some progress, you have to understand this. Kaiman wrote really beautiful comment in that last video. Sometimes you even have decline in your performance when you're learning something new, but when it's implemented in your behavior, you will suddenly perform better. What beautiful explanation. When you start making those changes, naturally you will have decline in your performance and most people fail for this simple reason. As extraordinary, complex, smart our brain is, when it comes time to changes, is absolute dumbass. All it cares about is dopamine or cortisol, first sign of failure and stress hormone released and instantly jump back to old shitty comfort zone. And there is no intelligent action when your brain functions on basic instincts. Be aware, trick your mind. Don't be afraid if your performance declines. In a few days, you will master your new muscle memory. Try for a week or two to think only about your perfect exit corner. In the next video, I will show you some hidden forces on the track which your brain doesn't take in count and if you master those skills, you will gain lots of time. Well, that's pretty much all for today. I am going to drive.